Welcome back to the Combat Star. In today's video, Israel Adesanya has come forward with the claims that he was asked to fight Dreykus Du Plessis at UFC 300. UFC 300 is set to take place on April 13th this year. The main event of the card was previously announced by Dana White to be Alex Pereira vs. Jamahal Hill, but Israel has now come forward with the claims that he was asked to main event the big event against DDP. Israel has told that Du Plessis rejected the offer due to him being injured during his bout against Sean Strickland. Izzy stated this on Theo Vaughn's podcast. There's some things that were meant to happen. They summoned me. I'm sure this is out there now, but they summoned me for UFC 300 and I was like, yep, let's roll. But their side didn't want it. They didn't want it. They just fought Sean Strickland. So maybe he had a little bit of niggly injuries and stuff, but we've all got niggles and whatnot. This revelation indicated a missed opportunity for a potentially thrilling main event at UFC 300. However, it also sets the stage for future anticipation of an eventual clash between Adesanya and Duplessis, potentially on a different date. Adesanya also reflected on his great rival rivalry with the now UFC main eventer Alex Pereira during the podcast. Reflecting on their past encounters in kickboxing, Adesanya explained that Pereira's success in the UFC was partly due to his victories over Adesanya in their kickboxing matches. Your brain's not really all there. I've been knocked out before, like cold once. Shout out to Pereira. Um, yeah. Pereira, is that how you say it? Yeah. Pereira. Alex Poitain Pereira. Oh, he's a, he's, he's really, yeah. I, I feel like you probably I admire him. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. I Look, people think I'm, I'm not a hater, man. I'm a guy who we're all in this game together, right? We're all trying to better our, our lives for our family and all and generations and all that. And he's achieved it. You know, in the beginning, when he first came to the UFC, Grant said he didn't have the run that I had. He got to the spot he got because he already beat me. This show of respect was also shed by Alex Pereira when he recently appeared at the MMA Hour. Alex indicated that he was willing to move on from his rivalry with Israel Adesanya and even hinted at the possibility of the pair training together. He stated, If I can be absolutely sure that we will never face each other in the octagon again, why not? Indicating that there is no bad blood between the two men, despite their heated clashes inside the cage. Coming up, Paulo Costa vs. Kamaru Usman looks likely to happen as Costa wants to fight Usman next. Although Paulo Costa did come up short against Robert Whitaker at UFC 298, the former title contender looks eager to return to his winning ways after a long time of inactivity prior to the fight. While speaking on a recent episode of Submission Radio, Costa mentioned Kamaru Usman to be his next opponent when he returns to fight. I think, yeah, I think he, he came from, from last as well. I came from last. So, uh, yes, everybody, uh, me and him need to put a win in the in the in the hair courts. I think um, he did uh, already everything, everything that he showed him, uh, everything that he showed to, to do and where the weight. So I think his time, he's not so young as well. He like 37, 36, I don't know, something like, uh, around that. So I think it's time to, to, to him move to middleweight. He did once against Shimaev, you know, go make a chain, but was not was not in the, the in the whole process like uh, he got just he just got a short note and came up uh, to middleweight waiting like where the weight. So I think this fight. Costa also expressed his desire to fight Usman on X, as well as criticized Kamzat Chimaev for not finishing Usman in their fight at UFC 294. The post was captioned, Usman 185 LBS looks interesting. Gourmet Chen Chen couldn't finish him even short notice. I might. If Kamaru Usman opts to continue competing in the middleweight division, a bout against Paulo Costa would be a logical matchup. Both fighters are coming off competitive decision losses, and the victor would position themselves for a shot at the 185 pound title. However, Usman's future in the middleweight division remains uncertain, given his previous move up to face Kamzat Chimaev on short notice in October. Ryan Garcia calls out Sean O'Malley. Just recently, Dana White has received an offer for Sugar Sean O'Malley. Although Sean is set to defend his UFC bantamweight championship against Marlon Chido Vera at UFC 299, the champ is also linked with fights against Ilya Tapuria and Mirab Dvalishvili. This is not it, as O'Malley has been involved in a back and forth with the boxer Ryan Garcia, who took a jab at the UFC champ on the MMA Hour show and went as far as to say that he can join UFC and then beat O'Malley. I'll beat his ass in MMA, guaranteed. Yeah, I'm a natural. You don't understand. I'm a natural in wrestler. I just beat my security that's a wrestler. I beat him. I'm strong and I got crazy conditioning. 
people in your position would want him to come over to boxing. No, but that's already been done. Yeah. I know I'm going to knock him out in boxing. That's not even fair. What is fair is to test myself in MMA because I know if I put my mind to it and I trained every day and I had Nate helping me, even Alex Pereira, all of them, and I really locked in, he will not beat me. I will come with everything I have and I would destroy Sean O'Malley. In the UFC? In the UFC. I've already sent text messages to Dana. Yes. I have, I've already got people that are connected to Dana to ask him, let's do this. I'll come to UFC, pay me a bag, I'm there. Garcia's promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, who was also present in the studio on the recent episode of the MMA Hour, chimed in the situation saying that he will be open to co-promoting the fight with the UFC. I, I would actually entertain that because Ryan can fight, you know, in the main event with this kid, and maybe I can do Dana <laughs> on the co-main. Yeah, I'm gonna do some big things in Vegas now. But it's time for a, it's time for an apex. I wanna. The reason why I moved to Vegas is to bring huge big time boxing back to Vegas. O'Malley and Garcia also went back and forth on X. Garcia posted, I'd fight Sean O'Malley in the UFC, that's it. But Dana, you'd have to cut me that real check. Sugashan replied by Instagram comment stating, brother, I kill you within minutes. Ryan then took a screenshot of the comment and posted it on X captioning, all right, Rainbowhead, there is only one way to find out. Dana, let's do this. O'Malley, after all this drama, responded to Garcia on a podcast exclaiming that he can beat Garcia as well as Garcia's next opponent Devin Haney on the same night I don't need around. to fucking take him down to it would I mean I could take him down and choke him but it's like I would kick him in the fucking body I would kick his little sticks I would do, I mean do whatever the fuck I wanted to him I could box him with MMA gloves it's a different sport just with those little MMA gloves the distance is different I could beat him and Devin Haney <laughs> the same night back to back in a fight yeah. there's just no it's, it's not Perhaps. Pure delusion. Although there's plenty of bad blood between the two at the moment, there's a very slim chance of this match ever happening. Diving into hot waters, Gilbert Burns disrespects Bilal Muhammad. The news that Bilal Muhammad wasn't one of the guys that were offered to Leon Edwards as a fight at UFC 300 comes as a shock to many fans. Looking at Bilal's formidable win streak and resume, it looks very fair that Bilal gets an opportunity at the welterweight title. But Bilal's most recent opponent, Gilbert Burns, thinks otherwise. Burns spoke in a recent interview where he explained that if he didn't get injured, during his fight with Bilal, he would have been next in line for the title. Burns stated, No, and I just knew. A friend of mine just called me and said, Hey, I know you know this, but just to let you know if you didn't get hurt on your injury. It already happened. I'm not giving no excuses. But if you had beat Bilal in your last fight, you would have headlined frickin' UFC 300. You know that, right? I'm like, oh, I never thought about it. But yeah, you're probably right. But I lost. It is what it is. I kind of felt bad a little bit, but it is what it is. You know, it's a show. I know the UFC got to put the best fights, and I don't think honestly Bilal Muhammad deserves to fight for the title. But honestly, I'm not intrigued. Bilal Muhammad didn't hold back and quickly responded on X by posting, This bum has done nothing. But cry since losing, I took the fight off the couch because I knew you suck and it would be easy. Addressing the injury situation during the fight, Bilal posted, Because I dropped him with a jab in the first round and he couldn't strike with me, so he tried to shoot, but he sucks. And I'm way stronger than him. And broke his shoulder with my hip. Bilal then highlighted how Brian Ortega won his fight against Yair Rodriguez, despite being injured before the fight. He posted, Fighters get hurt in fights. Brian Ortega literally twisted his ankle before the fight, and still one only difference is Burns just sucks. With Gilbert Burns competing against Jack Della Maddalena at UFC 299, it'll be interesting to see how Burns copes with his loss and comes back to winning ways. Up next, Ilya Topuria sends a warning to Islam Makachev. Recently, Ilya Topuria fell victim to a fake quote of Islam Makachev that has been circulating on the internet. According to M. Ounsen Sword 1 on X, the lightweight champion stated, another Another short guy is talking. Another short guy wants to be smashed. This post caught the attention of Ilya Tapuria, who took to Instagram and shared a clip of Islam getting knocked out by Adriano Martins back in 2015. Translating to what Tapuria wrote, the Instagram story stated, The boy is cutting you off. Since winning the UFC featherweight title by defeating Alexander Volkanovsky, Ilya has been shooted to superstardom. He was recently honored by soccer giants Real Madrid during their match on Sunday.
After capturing the title, Tapuria has called out many superstars. The likes of Islam Makachev and Conor McGregor are a few to name. Tapuria made it clear that he intends to fight Makachev to achieve the coveted champ champ status in the promotion, hinting that he wants to move up a weight class after defending his 145 pound strap once. El Matador stated, The final objective is still there, he's Islam Makachev in trouble. Islam is not the only Dagestani Tapuria wants to fight, as he is also eyeing on a fight against a now retired Khabib Nurmagomedov. Tapuria stated, I would be happy to enter the octagon with Khabib Nurmagomedov. He had an undefeated record at 29. Nowo, and he had an attractive record for me, then also history. He is a worthy and honorable champion for me. I would 100% defeat him. While it's unclear who will get a crack at Tapuria's title, it is very likely that if Max Holloway defeats Justin Gaethje at UFC 300, he could be the first contender for Tapuria's title. With Dana also confirming that UFC will head to Spain in future, it's most certain that Tapuria will have his first title defense in his home turf. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.